bit of cleaning, a bit of oiling, this one's running quite smooth now. Huh? It will go a little bit quicker. Unless you top heavy, definitely not going to run this one too hard. Bring it down to a stop. And she's playing the other way. Make her clean and just clean the wheels is all it is and away she goes. It's still a bit sticky this way, I think too. This is gonna have to need a good long run in, I think, to get this one working properly. She's a bit stiff like it, like me at the moment. But she is running, that's the main thing. Frame the opposite way. Still the same, a little bit sticky. Need a long, long run in, I think, this one, do. That's rocket number one. And this is rocket number two. And this one's a bit more jittery than the other one. At least she works, isn't it, Dean? Needs a good long run in, I think. Oh, I oh, know she's got a little bit better. Probably the oil is working in now. But she's working, that's amazing. See what she'd like in reverse. I think it needs a bit more cleaning on the wheels, I think. Otherwise, she'd run it quite well. And here we have Princess Elizabeth, 6201. This one's had a bit of a clean this morning. You might well notice it's got a piston thing in the tender. Makes a chopping noise. I have a few old coaches to go with this as well, for a set as well. Here is the black Princess Elizabeth 6201. This is a really old locomotive, this is. This is probably from the late 50s, early 60s, this one is. Totally different couplings on this one. A bit sad, the tender is a bit out of alignment, the wheels. But the locomotive is running quite perfect. Got a good clean. There's nothing much wrong with that. Slow it down a little bit. Quite pleased with that. Take it over in reverse as well. One more circuit. Great Western locomotive. Note the smoke coming out the chimney. 
in terms of smoker unit. Just going down a little touch. Time in reverse now. Huh? She's running quite well as well, look at that. An easy way to clean these locomotives. Is have the wheels to spin on a track there, yeah? hold the locomotive here. I then use the brush on the wheels, like so. I find it much easier to clean. Here we go, try it in reverse now. This I'll be working with quite a while. Put the top back on now in a few minutes. And you have another 20 odd locomotive that gets to clean. Really old stock. This one's from the mid 70s, I've got four coaches, this as well. There to a stop. Come back to me, that's better. Yeah, she's running quite smooth. All of a good cleaner now. Quite pleased with that. Bring it to a stop. And we shall try him and do it. There you go. There's one of my intercity locomotives, all cleaned and maintained and oiled. Another four there. Yeah? What you got to do as well? You can now try the opposite way around. Is there another one of them? And for some unknown reason, this one makes a squealing sound. Yes, it makes a squealing sound in reverse as well. Not sure why this one does this. Give it some little run in reverse in a second. You may notice there's no squealing sound on this one.
Here he is, Hinter City Loco number Here's a little dock shunter. A nippy little thing this one is, you gotta go a lot quicker than this. This is only about quarter speed. And I do believe this has got magnetation as well. One more spin. Here is one of my Hymac locomotives. I do believe this is from the early 80s. I have another one of these, it sparks and sparks and sparks as you go around the track. You have Leith Abbey, this is a castle class locomotive. This is from the late 80s, early 90s. Here we have Flying Scotsman, this is a tender drive locomotive, this one, I think this is from the early mid 90s. Here we have a class 47, this is County of Norfolk and it's in the network rail colour, the look at it. And I think this is from the early to mid 90s.
This one is 9003 and it's called Meld. I believe it's a class 55 and I think this is probably from the early 90s. Yeah, the oldest local in my fleet. This is about 45, 47 year old. Yeah, it's about 45, 47 year old. And 190, 75, 76 about this. She still works even though he's only got one driving rod on it. And if I turn the speed up on it, she's still a nippy little shifter. You will go quicker than this if we had two driving rods. And I do believe we've got magnetation as well. Here's another little GWR, what do you call a pannier tank? It's another GW1 locomotive. This is a 262 wheel configuration. You may well notice. I put a small bit of cotton wool on the sack. I've done this recently for a Christmas little run. And a couple little daubs of white paint on the side. Here's another GWR locomotive, this is called Albert Hall, 4983 I believe it is. Uh, this one's got a little piston in the tender, which is making a sound like a chuffer. Here is another Hymac from my fleet.
Here we are, 46251. This is City of Nottingham. This is a tender drive for locomotive. I do believe this is from the early to mid 90s. And this one is another one of the very, very fast locomotives. Gotta keep the speed down on this. Been a busy day getting all these going. I think it's around about 25 I got going today so far. I'll post a video online later. Hope you all enjoyed. That's all for now.